Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm becoming bare faced. Of course, I'm usually bare faced most of the time. But well, today I am going to show you guys how I do my hair mask. I do the Cardi B, Cardi B Avocado hair mask and I'll show you guys what I do. If you guys don't know, I am now going natural again. I'm transitioning. I'm in the process of transitioning back to natural. It's been quite a few months and my ends are all relaxed and I still have and I have like growth from natural hair which I am happy about and I'm also proud of that so we'll be doing a hair mask and I just want to show you guys how I do that and uh, how my hair feels or looks like afterwards this is the current state of my hair This is the current state of my hair. It's like mostly natural, and then from there, it's all the relaxed ends. But also, I'm happy that I'm not doing much to my hair regarding um, this whole process or journey, uh, but it's still able to, you know, just. Stuff. Yeah. Okay, for this hair mask, I'm going to be using extra virgin olive oil. I've noticed this olive oil works really well on my hair. I'll use some grapeseed oil and coconut oil. I wanted to use um uh, what do you call this shea butter as well as black castor oil but i forgot to include it and i'm gonna use eggs two eggs and two avocados i know it may sound like a lot but believe you me all of this does get into that short hair y'all see i'm gonna blend all of this together in my little tiny blender i first start by putting in the oils first and then I'll go in with the eggs and then the avocado. Both eggs and avo are enriched with amino acids, vitamin B12, antioxidants, and proteins, which promotes hair growth, prevents hair loss, nourishes and strengthens our hair follicles and roots. So I use two really ripe avocados. These avocados were just ripe at the right amount. It wasn't too soft and it wasn't hard as well. It was just ripe. It was just there. So I'm so glad I found an avo that is like that because sometimes it's, you, cut up, you have to wait for a while for your avos to get ripe. And then if you wait too long, then it gets rotten. Ugh, I, I'm glad I didn't have to go through that. But anyways... I then went ahead and added grapeseed oil and coconut oil just to add some more shine to my hair and um, I'm still experimenting with grapeseed oil I don't know how my hair responds to it but when it comes to coconut oil I think like the only thing it does with my 4c hair is add shine to it that's it I don't know so yeah I made sure that I shook it well together well properly together because I have a small blender and I blended it together to a smooth pulp texture so this is what the consistency as well as the texture of the hair mask should look like it's not too waterish and it's not too thick it's just smooth and well blended together. You want to make sure that it is well blended properly and it doesn't have any grains or any, um, what do you call these, leftovers or <laughs> any of these um, unblended, piece, unblended pieces. Because that can get stuck to your hair and then it's going to take a while for you to like remove it. So yeah. Hey y'all, so I parted my hair in six different sections. Y'all can see the shrinkage is real. I left this part out so I can um, put the. Ooh, is it not here? Ooh. So I can put the hair mask on this pad, on this part, but I parted it in six different sections. 
guys saw so earlier on what my hair mask looks like I have it here so we're going to work with it if you have thick hair or 4c hair you want to make sure that you section it again into smaller parts and then you apply your hair mask on those smaller parts So I apply the hair mask all the way from my roots to my ends and although I do have unhealthy ends I still made sure it was still um, I still applied the hair product to it because every part of your hair still needs attention when you are um, transitioning from natural or from relaxed hair to natural hair so although I have like small short hair it is very thick and it's kept up soaking all the products so one thing I didn't do after putting on the product or the hair mask I didn't comb my hair I just used my finger to detangle it with the hair mask on I did not use any comb because I'm still transitioning to natural hair from relaxed hair and because my hair is there's like two different textures on my head it can cause breakage if I overcome it or if I manipulate it a lot so I made sure that my baby hairs and all the hair on my head were well fed as well with the hair mask and afterwards I covered my head in a plastic bag for about an hour if not more afterwards I removed the plastic bag from my hair and y'all look at my hair <laughs> it's my baby hairs look soft already and honestly my hair felt so so soft and well moisturized i then went ahead and rinsed it all off and i put on a chinese leave-in conditioner because that's what i had at that moment hey guys i came back from washing my hair i did put um, a chinese leave-in conditioner and for some reason it's making like okay i don't know if you guys can see how hydrated my hair is can you guys see this is just the leave-in but my hair is super hydrated because yeah. even when i run my hands through it it makes that watery sound like can you guys hear that yeah, so wow shrinkage is really real so yeah there's all the relaxed ends I'm gonna cut it off one day so what I'm gonna do now is just African threading I'm gonna do some African threading on my hair and then stretch it out and I'll show you guys tomorrow hey it is the next day and I use Jamaican black castor oil on my hair as well as grease the night before doing the threading I don't use a blow dryer and I feel as if African threading helps me stretch my hair and also it causes less breakage and it also helps soften my hair which makes it easier to comb thumbnail Hey guys, it is the next day and um, the downfall of doing this treatment or this protein or this hair mask, avocado hair mask is I can kind of like still see just a little bit a little bit of just a little bit of flakes or, or like residue I don't know if it's the egg or the avocado but my guess is it is the avocado was a bit brownish but it's not so bad but my hair does feel well nourished and hydrated I am going to carry on doing this and just see how 
it goes so right now i'm just gonna tie my hair in a bun and see you guys in one second i'm back i just tied my hair in this ponytail one of the reasons why i also don't want a big chop now is because i can still put my hair in a ponytail and i want to be able to do that i want to have that um, option because y'all life can get me hectic sometimes and i don't think i can rock my fro or my twat just yet so yeah that is my ponytail i don't know if you guys can see uh surprisingly enough it's a big ponytail i think i think it's quite a good size for the amount of like natural hair growth that i have so yeah this was it regarding this video this is just my updated hair journey where my hair is now because i did tell you guys that i would uh, i would transition back to being natural and also i just want you guys to also come with me through this journey because you guys were there when you saw whatever happened happened it is the past it is what it is so we're starting afresh so i am excited about that and also let me know if you've ever tried out this hair mask and what hair mask works for you or if you have transitioned before and what work hair mask worked better for your transitioning phase so yeah this is it regarding this video if you're not subscribed please subscribe what are you waiting for i guess i'll see you guys later bye